Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now I decided to make a video in response to the media uh, tirade that they have launched again on me this morning. Now what they, the media have done is they've gone through uh, old posts of mine from 2015, 2016. They must have some people doing research on me because they've basically gone through every single thing I've ever said in my entire life and are now making front page headlines about these old things that I used to say. Now, peaceful vegan activist Joey Carbstrong compared dairy farmers to Hitler and told them to kill themselves. Uh, a, a while back, I think it was a couple of years ago, some, uh, there was a story on some dairy farmers where they were saying that they was, uh, some, some dairy farmers were suicidal because they had been losing uh, profits. And back then, I was uh, quite a passionate and you could say aggressive activist. And I, I used to say things that I probably wouldn't say now. Oh, well, I definitely wouldn't say now. Um, and uh, one of the things I said is that this, the, the dairy farmers should do the cows a favor, basically. I looked at it from the cow's perspective and from the animal's perspective. And in retrospect, you know, it was a bad uh, thing to say. Do I stand by statements like that now? No, I do not advocate like that. And I do, I do not uh, recommend any vegan activist uh, active advocates like that. Um, I uh, compared dairy farmers to Hitler. Would I do that nowadays? No. No, I wouldn't. Um, do I think what's happening to the animals is horrific? 100% it is. 100% it is. So what, what they have been, what they've basically done is gone through my whole past of my, uh, my substance abuse when I was using drugs. I, I've, I've been very candid about my past. Obviously, I was in gangs and I used to commit acts of violence. I was also a non-vegan and I used to eat animals three times a day. Uh, I used to pay for animals to be murdered on my behalf. They don't really talk about that though. They just want to attack my character and uh, talk about uh, all of my prior criminal history. They must have called the courts that sentenced me because they found out everything about my sentencing uh, submissions. They found an old video, uh, my four years sober video, where my family described how um, I used to be. But they obviously didn't find, uh, they didn't include in the article how I am now because that 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 whole video was about my transformation how I used to be and how I am now they miss all that they miss all that uh, my what my brother used to uh, said how I used to be my conduct how it used to be obviously none of the, the ways are it's nothing to do with um, what I'm like now as a person but basically um, they found old posts uh, I made a video once called ethical hunters deserve a bullet in the head now, I was very angry with a particular person who I was debating with who was saying that there's a humane way to shoot an animal. And obviously that triggered me back then. And I've deleted these videos. Any of these videos that they, these posts, I've deleted them. They found a video where I'm talking about uh, pacifism. I used to, you know, think that pacifism wasn't the way to advocate. Obviously I'm a peaceful advocate and I do non-violent, uh, polite, uh, respectful, uh, education-based activism, that's how I advocate. Uh, they found an old video where I'm saying that the, the way that the Jews was, were rescued was through violent intervention, basically. Now, of course, I don't, I don't have that view on vegan activism, the way I, all of my activist workshops shops are online for people to see, the way I promote advocacy. I don't, I don't even swear when I advocate anymore. I used to swear all the time. And the, 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 so what the media are basically doing, they found a post where I said, if you eat Fish, you're a disgusting psychopath, which I do not stand by that statement either. I do not stand by these statements. I think a peaceful approach is best. Of course I do. Um, I do not compare farmers to Nazis anymore. I don't think that that's a wise thing to do. Um, I don't think it's a wise way to advocate. Uh, I think it creates a massive distraction. And I think farmers are just a victim of a very violent society and they don't think that what they're doing is wrong. And I've stated many times I do not hate farmers. But of course, the media are trying to... They're trying to demonise me. They're trying to... their best to make me the villain. Uh, the, the Martin Luther King... Uh, sorry, the Malcolm X quote that I posted today. If you're not careful, the newspapers will have you hating the people who are being oppressed and loving the people who are doing the oppressing. They can turn, uh, they can turn the criminal into the victim and the peacemakers into the criminal. Uh, that's, that's just what they do and they've done it with, with everyone throughout history. I, I just didn't realize they were gonna go through this much of my stuff 
to discredit me. I mean, this is really, this is really full on. Like, if you Google my name, you'll see the amount of articles these major media outlets are doing on me. The point of this is, basically, they are trying to shoot the messenger. They're trying to discredit the messenger because the message is powerful. The message is strong. Um, obviously, these major media outlets are working for someone, aren't they? There's a lot of money in, in uh, meat, dairy, and eggs, and they're trying to make me out to be someone I'm basically I'm not anymore. Uh, some of the things I used to say were extreme, and I, I do not, you know, obviously don't stand by them. You know, I was a, oh, I used to be violent. I used to drink alcohol. I used to do all these things that I that I don't do anymore. I mean, if we went through anyone's <laughs> old stuff, I'm sure we could find something that we could pin on any, anyone. But they they have got people researching everything about me in order to discredit me because my message is strong. I'm on national TV calling out the dairy industry for sexually abusing cows, for uh, calling out the meat, dairy and egg industry for enslaving and murdering animals. Uh, people are starting to wake up to this. My message is strong. Um, and I'm not the only one with this message. Obviously, there is millions of us vegans who know exactly what happens to animals uh, for profit, and we're not putting up with it anymore. I don't know, I think they might be trying to distract me, bash me, or use me as uh, instrument to discredit the whole vegan movement. Use the things I said two, three years ago, which I do not, I no longer stand by, to discredit the whole vegan movement. But I thought I'd just give you guys an idea of what's happening. Um, this, these are major news outlets, so um, they're reaching millions and millions and millions of people. The plus to this is they're bringing eyes to me, and when they bring eyes to me, they bring eyes to the animal message, uh, which I whenever I open my mouth these days, it's for animals. It's on behalf of animals. I do not have some radical message. I mean, it, actually, it might seem radical. Don't harm animals. Hey, let's live in peace and harmony with animals and, and, and each other. I, I want peace, you know, just as much as the next person, but I'm just living in alignment with that, and that, that's my message. It's a strong message, and it's about justice. You know, change is going to be uncomfortable, and this is what's happening here. I mean... Why, why have they got little old me, who's just, you know, speaking up against the sexual abuse in the dairy industry and other horrific forms of exploitation that we uh, subject innocent animals to? Why have they got little old me demonizing me, putting me up as the poster boy worldwide? Um, I think maybe it's because I've got a little bit of things in my past that, that, that are easy to attack, and they're using them to try to discredit veganism, which they cannot discredit. They can try to publicly, you know discredit the message but we have the evidence right there it's right there for everyone to see I mean slaughterhouses are everywhere they're all around you just have to drive your car there and wait for truckloads of pigs to rock up and you can hear them screaming from out onto the on the road if you look at throughout history and the other social justice movements like the civil rights movement the suffragettes uh, so Martin Luther King jr. Uh, Mahatma Gandhi um, apartheid these these outspoken activists were demonized by the media okay they were demonized by the media and they just wanted peace and this is what's happening with vegans now we just want peace and the, the media are demonizing us uh, I don't know who is pulling the strings behind all of this like whether it's b big industry meat dairy and eggs and you know they've got connections within the media they want to they want to try their best to halt this movement the thing is that there's money in veganism, so I don't understand that. <clears throat> Why don't they just switch over to more ethical industries? I mean, what, what's with all the the kicking and screaming? I mean, <clears throat> but this is what we are dealing with. But I just wanted to make this video just to give you an idea of where I'm at, what's happening. Uh, they have not stopped for the last two weeks, the media. Um, every time I wake up, there's like new articles. I can't keep up. I haven't saved all the articles. There's probably about 20 or 30 up there now. Um, <clears throat> they've got a, they've written a whole bio on me, basically saying that I'm a drug addict, that I am uh, an ex-convict, I'm a uh, used to be a violent criminal gang member, basically all these things in my bio. So why would you listen to this person, you know? But then there there is some positives. So there's all eyes on me. I'm speaking with conviction uh, about procedures that that happen to animals in meat, dairy, and eggs, bringing eyes to uh, the the plight of animals, which is all I really want to do. Um, I don't care if I'm looked at as some villain by people who don't know me. I just want people to stop hurting animals. So if they come to my page and, and see my message, they're not going to see any um, 
name calling to farmers on my page. I'm just gonna be truth, okay? The truth about what's happening to animals. There's not gonna be me inciting violence to any um, people that work in animal agriculture. That's not me and that's not my message. My message is leave the animals alone. Let's uh, create a more peaceful world and let's create industries around ethical alternatives. Basically, uh, any type of advocacy that is inflammatory, I won't allow on my page. I'll, tr I'll try my best to, to go through and, and get rid of that. But the, the point is, I, I want a movement of peace and I want a, a movement full of advocates who want the same thing and who are sort of generating this sort of uh, peaceful advocacy. That's what I want. We, we, we just want, hey, stop hurting animals. We don't think you're bad people. We don't think farmers are bad people for being brought up into this violent, conditioned, indoctrinated society. Shoot the messenger if you like. I just want people to be peaceful to animals. But anyways, I'm gonna leave that video there. I just thought I'd let you guys know what's going on. I've got more content coming, obviously. I've just been, you know, it's been quite full on at the moment with everything. But uh, yeah, don't worry about me, I'm good. I'm going good. Yeah, just thought I'd respond to some of the things the media is saying. I can't respond to everything they're saying, there's just so much of it. Uh, the thing is, I think what's happening is change. Change is happening, which is why they are, they're sort of fighting back. But change is inevitable. They can only try to hinder its progress. They cannot stop it from progressing. Uh, this is an issue of justice, and as, as we know about issues of justice, they always come to light. Injustice doesn't last forever. Sooner or later, society catches up and that's what's happening here so anyway thank you for all for all of your amazing support sorry if that video this video was just a bit of you know me rambling on about the current situation but i just thought i'd just clear the air get get it all out there for you if you want to go do a little google i don't really have time to link every single article that's been written about me if you do a little google search joey carbstrong you can see what um the media have kind of been up to obviously if you want to see how i advocate uh, just look at my current videos, okay? I've gone through and deleted the, the old content that I don't agree with. If you find any content on there that you might uh, deem as uh, abusive or questionable, let me know and I'll go have a look at it and see what I can do. I will never stop speaking with passion and conviction for the plight of animals. You will never get me saying that cows are not raped in a dairy industry. You will never get me saying that... Um, they're not, animals aren't slaves. You will never get me s saying that animals aren't mercilessly murdered against their will, that they are uh, the real victims here. That will never happen, so I wouldn't even um, entertain that, but the way I conduct myself is important, and um, I, I wanna speak truth without any of the in other inflammatory um, conduct, which I, I have been in, in the last year. If you looked at my conduct in the last year, uh, minimum, um, I have been doing that. So I've evolved a lot as an activist and as a person. I will never stop speaking for animals until the day I die. That is what I'm here to do, to speak for the voiceless victims who do not get a platform like we have. So um, all of us are vegans and all of us that know about this, we now we need to strike while the iron's hot. We need to all be there sharing content, um, waking up the masses together collectively, okay? We need to stop relying on other activists to do this job for us. I know that with so many of us are, are, are in on this, which is amazing. We need more, all of us. The ones that are watching that don't do much, get out there, start sharing, start commenting, start uh, supporting other activists, start sharing stuff about dairy. Let's, let's all hit it all at once and let, let's show how powerful this movement is and let's do the, the animals the justice they deserve.